Hi everyone, so we're just starting the new pack, which is Circles. It's got three lessons, hopefully, and I'll run through the first lesson we can have. Right, so it says, consider a circle centred at the origin with a radius r. So if I've got a co-op point here, which is x, comma, y, I can make a little right angle triangle. It's x across, and it's y up. And it's got a radius r. If I use Pythagoras, then x squared plus y squared is r squared. So that's for the triangle there. So I've just used Pythagoras. Used Pythagoras. Oof, right now what we've got here now. So you've got one with a centre AB, and I've got a point x, y. I might draw this a little bit separate now. So that's AB. That's XY. Its width will be X minus A. So if imagine that's, that's A, well that point there is X, then that width there is X minus A. And if that's B, actually let's maybe get rid of that triangle. I can just do it here, can't I? That make it a little bit nicer, and that's y, and that would be y minus b. Ah, so same idea, x minus a, that's the length going across, all squared, y minus b, that's the length going up, all squared, is equal to r squared. So I've just used Pythagoras again. There. So that's where your equations of circles come from, because it's mapping a circle going round. There. So it says the equation of a circle centered at minus 3t. So if you look, that was centered at a comma b. There's a sign change on the bit inside. So if it's centered at minus 3t, it will be x. It's, it's minus a minus 3, all squared. So that's x plus 3 squared. Then y minus a 2 all squared, y minus 2 all squared is equal to 4 squared. So I don't even have to bother with a minus a minus. I just need to remember to change the sign. There. So if I look at this one here, if I see that as being minus a minus 4, then I know the x value is minus 4 for the centre. Oof, now this one's a little bit tricky. I've got to see it as y minus 0, all squared. So it's 0. And the radius, well remember that's r squared, will be root 10 there. So you've got to change the sign on the numbers in the brackets on the centre. And remember to square root your radius. Now this bit's a little bit, this is dodgy. I've got to use completing the square. Hey, uh, is there a black ball ball here? Oh. Uh, just a second, let me pause my recording. I'm still talking to the board when somebody comes in. What would it make them think that I was actually recording? Never mind, he's got his black water bottle, it's all good. Right, so I'm going to do completing the square, but I'm going to do it twice. So I've got an x squared minus 4x that I'm going to do because I'm squared on. I've got a y squared plus 2y that I'm going to do completing the square on. And then I've just got a minus 4 at the end, which I'll move eventually. Right, so the x squared plus 4x, or x squared minus 4x, will be x minus 2 all squared minus 4. The y squared plus 2y would be y plus 1 squared minus 1. And the minus 4 is 0. So I've got x minus 2 squared, y plus 1 squared. I've got minus 4, minus 4, minus 1. There. So I've got... I'll take the 9 over. 
I've got that equation. So I've done completing the squared on the x's, done completing the squared on the y's, and then just tidied up by moving the numbers together. So that tells me then, because remember, you change the sign on the centre, so that's 2 minus 1, and I square root my radius, which is 3. There. So that's that example done. That's quite a few examples, isn't it? Shall I do another one? Why not? Uh, actually, I'm going to stop there and I'll do it. I'll start in the 